Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator, and today's tutorial is on making a person, a very low poly, very simple person in Blender, that will be s sort of splashing around in a little, not pool, but kind of like a, I guess, box of water, if you want to call it. Now, I got this tutorial request from a user. And I think his name is Hyamena. Hyamena. I don't know. Hold on. Let me give me a second. He left me a comment on my channel. Hyamena. Yeah, that's it. That's that's how you pronounce it. So this tutorial was requested by him, and it's here it comes. So just to get started, anyway. Um, go to your front view and you can go into edit mode. Now, right now we're going to be modeling our very, 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 very simple person. So, um, go to face select mode and actually select all first. Size your cube down on the y-axis to about 0.32 the size that it originally was. Go back to your front view and size your top uh, face up on the x-axis by 1.4 or 1.5. Now, drag this up a little bit and extrude. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then just size that up a little bit, extrude again, size that down a little bit, extrude, size that up a little bit. That's just to give it a bit of a wavy effect. And now our last extrusion for the waist. Now for here, so you have your original, then you extrude it one, two, three, four times. And take your bottom face and subdivide it. Now select these two faces here, go to your front view, and extrude region. Extrude them down to about the length of a whole leg would be. And now do the same with your other set. Now you can... Uh, write down how far you extruded it, but this is just very simple, so we don't need to do that. Now size these two on the, or uh, grab this on the x-axis as far as you want, and then grab those on the x-axis as far as you want. So now you have your legs and your torso, so let's go for the arms. Subdivide this three, uh, twice, and same over there. Now go into your side view and select these vertices, the top three rows of vertices, and I'll just deselect these over here, and now what I want you to do, or whoops, before you uh, subdivide, just select both of them, and then subdivide. Uh, twice, then it'll come out nicer, and then just deselect your bottom row. Now you don't have all the triangles. So now what I want you to do is press the E key, region, right click, size this on your X axis, and then size it like that, and then size it again on your X axis, and then, uh, or actually before you even size it on your X axis, just kind of size it down and then size it on your x-axis to kind of get the effect of a arm sort of. And you can grab it on your z-axis down. We can give them short stubby arms like that. Just straight arms. Just real simple person. Nothing special. So now go to the top here where you have your four uh, faces and from there you subdivide that once twice. Go into your uh, top view, deselect all, and select the two top middle rows like that. And then go to your front view, extrude region up for neck, extrude very small, and then extrude region again so it makes about a cube and then 
select your oddball cube like this and just size that up for a head grab it up on the z-axis now you see this extra little piece that we extruded that was for like kind of like a your neck doesn't just go like a V it goes up and then it gets wide so that's kind of that point so now you have your person right here your guy go out of edit mode he's not the greatest but it's just, well, it's just a simple person so I didn't try to take the time to make something insane let's go with the cartoon if you want I don't recommend you can well for this tutorial I don't recommend you subsurf you can if you want it always makes it look nice and smooth but Whatever. I mean, you can if you want. Yeah, right there, the light pair. Oh, that's what I have on your screen. And um, those pants are the ones you had on him. All right, sorry about that. So, anyway, um, you can set him solid. and go into your front view. You can grab them up on your z-axis to about, so it's feet are on the x-axis. And now what I want you to do is um, add a cube and go into wireframe mode. Now after you're in wireframe mode, size up the cube so it's about just a bit wider than your person and then grab it up on the z-axis and then you can size it on the z-axis to make it a little bit taller than your person. Well, it doesn't even have to be that. It can be smaller. Um, and then go into your camera view and size all of that down. And then just grab it on the z-axis. This is just to kind of get it to scale and also um, so that it doesn't take up a lot of uh, energy of my computer like uh, CPU when it bakes the liquid. So now you have your person here, okay? Select your cube and go over here to your object tab, physics tab, fluid domain. Now for this tutorial I'm just going to do a resolution of 25 which is very low quality. I mean very very low. You can definitely do as high of a resolution as you want if you've worked with fluid resolution, uh, fluid simulation. If you have a good computer, say, you know, dual core, uh, you know, each core at a little over 2 gigahertz, then you can do 200 to, you know, pretty high resolutions, but it'll take a while. So, I have a very old computer, well, not very old, but slower, so I'm just going to do 25 to make it easy. So now, I'm going to go into my front view, get out of perspective mode by pressing the numpad 5. I'm going to duplicate my cube, and actually, whoops, uh, I'm sorry, let me just reset. Don't turn it into a, into a domain. If you turned it into a domain, undomain it. <laughs> Okay, so if you've undomained it, what you want to do is duplicate it before you added a domain, then size your second cube on the z-axis and put it down. The second cube is going to be the height of the water, so it's not going to be very tall. So now select your big cube, set it as a domain, 25 resolution. Set the second cube as a fluid, and I'm just going to set that to final. And I just do preview, I guess, doesn't matter. Final, whatever. Preview, whatever. And I'm going to bake. So while this is baking, it's going to go relatively quick. Now, you don't have to bake, but I'm doing it just to show you what, just to get a frame. I'm just going to cancel now, just so you can get an idea of what your, your fluid's going to look like. So you can kind of see it in there. Anyway. I'm going to end this tutorial now, and I'm going to have a part two for you guys. See you <coughs> Excuse me. See you